Hey everybody and welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. We're here today to do your mid-month check-in for your career in finance. This is for January 16th, 2021, all the way through February 15th, 2021. And this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. And if you're returning, then welcome back. And thank you so very much for your likes, your subscribes, your comments. I truly appreciate your energy and uh, I'm very grateful that you continue this journey with me. So let's see where we go. Let's get right into your reading messages for Pisces, please. What do we need to know for career and finance? Messages for Pisces, sun, moon, and rising signs, please. All right. So first up, we have inner child. All right. Just so you know, I'm just gonna pull all the I'm gonna pull the cards and then we'll go a little bit deeper into the messages. All right. So, message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, please. What do we need to know for the month ahead? Messages for Pisces, please. All right. And we have I understand the rules of the game of life. I'm pretty sure that's not the board game. <laughs> that is a fun game though I think so alright so I'm going to pull your tarot messages for Pisces please alright so your current situation your current situation please Pisces Woof. okay alright we have wow okay we have the tower and the ten of pentacles Okay, woof, okay. That's some crazy energy going in there. All right, what is your current challenge? What's crossing you? And we have the sun. Okay. Your goals, your aspirations. What are you striving to achieve? We have the five of wands. All right. Advice from spirit is the seven of wands. Okay. Yep, that's a seven. And your, woo, slow down. Your potential outcome here. Potential outcome here, please, spirit. And we have the page of pentacles. Okay. All right. So let's start over here. I understand the rules of the game of life. Now that I understand the rules of this game of eternal life, now that I understand the powerful law of attraction and deliberate creation, I can prepave segment by segment my life experience into becoming the allower I was born to be. For I was destined to a life of fulfillment and never ending joy. All right, that's your law of attraction card right there. And then we also have inner child. Allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. All right. So get in touch with your inner child. Um, there's always that part of us that needs that nurturing and that care and that joy. Okay. We, you know, as we get over, older, we put on like a brave front all the time. Um, but when, when reality, sometimes we just want to like, curl up into a fetal position and just chill out for a bit and just kind of hide from the world. So don't forget to feed that inner child of yours and give that, you know, a little bit of compassion to yourself and a little bit of caring. So let's get into the deeper details of your reading here. Interesting energy coming out in your uh, current situation. Um, hmm. So we have the tower all right, so the tower is sudden unexpected change, something shocking, something that you didn't expect, a surprise. In this case here, though, I feel that this is a potential happy surprise, something you didn't expect. There's some sort of abundance coming in for you here, something that you weren't planning on, something that you... Um, maybe hoped for, okay, maybe dreamed about, but didn't quite think that maybe you could get it. The Ten of Pentacles, um, the Ten of Pentacles is abundance, okay, lots of money, 
okay wealth um the kind of wealth that you can leave some in your will to other people um that kind of that kind of wealth so i think here if you're currently um if you're currently um not working you're out of a job you've been pounding the pavement you've been putting a two million resumes out there okay and maybe now you've gone for an interview maybe you haven't quite yet all right but this is that i think you're gonna get that phone call you're going to get that call back. You're going to get that job that maybe, maybe you reached for the stars. Okay. Maybe a, maybe a job opportunity came across your path or you saw a job posting somewhere and you're like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it and I'm just going to shoot my arrow and I'm going to see what sticks. And I think this is you getting that phone call and you're just like, you get that phone call that you have that job or you know, uh, someone gives you an offer and maybe you've already been for an interview and you didn't quite know what the salary expectation was. And then I think when they tell you, you're like, holy crap. Um, and you're just flabbergasted that this might pay that much money. Okay. So, um, so it, this feels to me like a happy tower. Okay. Um, you know, but it's, it's something that just completely rocks your world and shakes your foundation. Um, it, and it's just, it, it's abundance. And, and I think, again, I think it's something that you didn't expect for others of you. Okay. For others of you, because we do have, um, uh, we do have the five of wands, um, up in your, um, in your goals position and what you're striving towards. And that's competition. Okay, so for others of you, I think this could possibly be that maybe you just reached for the stars again. And if for in your current corporation, your current company, your current work environment, okay, you could have just, um, you could have been like, you know what, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring. There's this promotion available. Maybe it's a new department, um, a new division of your company, um, something. All right. And you're just like, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to do it. And then I think, um, <laughs> it feels like here that you, you, you get what you, you wanted, right? This is, this is abundance coming in for you here. Um, this could be some other unexpected windfall, just so you know, this could be an inheritance of some sort. And, um, because the 10 of pentacles, it indicates generational wealth. Okay. Um, Maybe there's like a relative that you haven't talked to in a very long time. Um, some financial windfall coming in for you here. So, and something that unexpected. So uh, it kind of rocks your world because it's, it's a good sum of money. It really is a good sum of money here. So I think this is very positive. Okay. Um, but it's shocking. It's unexpected. You, you didn't, you didn't expect this. However, this resonates for you here. Okay. Um, what's crossing you. Okay. This is your challenge. Okay. And it's the sun. All right. So the sun, and I mean, the sun is a very positive energy, no matter kind of where it shows up in your reading here. So, um, even though it is in your challenge position, so the sun is the happiest energy in the entire deck. Okay. So it almost feels like If this is you receiving some financial windfall, maybe someone wrote you in your will and late left you a huge sum of money that you weren't expecting, okay? If that resonates with you, um, it might not have happened yet. Depends when you see this reading, okay? But yeah, your challenge, you could be a little conflicted with that because while you're very happy that you have all this money, or maybe you inherited someone's house or something or some valuables of some sort, it's kind of hard to fully embrace the joy that should come with a windfall because, of course, what has to happen for you to get that inheritance, okay? Um, so take that as that resonates with you because, you know, basically someone has to pass on um, for you to receive that. Right. So it's like, you want to be happy, but at the same time, it's a little bit of, uh, hesitation on how much happiness and joy you express with that particular situation. Okay. If that's you 
For others of you, I think maybe um, your challenge here is remaining optimistic. Okay, remaining optimistic here because I mean, let's face it, even in a challenged position, the sun is actually uh, a very positive energy no matter what. Um, but it is full of happiness, light, joy, optimism, success. Okay, and it feels almost like a little bit of disbelief. Okay, a little bit of disbelief, a little bit of um, uh, shake up in your eternal optimism. Okay, because what you're striving for here, there's a lot of competition here with this Five of Wands energy. Okay, so um, so it feels like, again, if you're looking for a job, if you're fighting for a promotion, right, you're throwing your hat in the ring and you're like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compete until the cows come home. Um, I think those are antelopes maybe. Um, but... Uh, you you want it you're striving for it you're you're not afraid of a little competition it feels like here um because it feels like you're you you actually do have some good confidence around you with this okay but um let's clarify that just a little bit but it does feel like you're you know you you don't mind a little bit of healthy competition okay and you don't you you almost embrace it uh with that energy there so let's clarify this five of wands please Ooh. And we have the Knight of Cups, the High Priest. Wow, and the Star. Jeez, that's some crazy good energy coming out for you guys, let me tell you. Um, okay, so yeah, you don't mind that competition because you want something that um, gives you emotional fulfillment. You're looking for an offer of something that not only gives you commitment and some stability, but that also... Um, gives you that emotional satisfaction that you're looking for. Something that you truly, truly believe in with the high priest energy, right? You want something that feeds your soul, that gives you something to believe in. You want to believe in yourself, but you also want to believe in what you do for a living, okay? Um, and this is you having faith in yourself, believing in a higher power, all right, you see this, uh, he's actually pointing up to the sky, higher power, higher power, the key to your higher power, right, is your belief, okay, so trust and know that there's energies working towards you, um, and we have the star, so the star is, um, it's balance, hope, faith, trust, optimism, um, it's a very healing energy, so, um, so if you've, um, <laughs> this is, this is what you want. Okay. But you want some, so you, you want again, something that you can believe in something that, um, is very grounded, something very balanced. Okay. But so you're, you're wanting a balance between, um, between stability, career, money, but also that emotional satisfaction, something that's feeding your soul. All right, the um, uh, the star is Aquarian energy. Just so you know, we're in the age of Aquarius now, and a lot of people are shifting their belief systems. All right, so um, but this is what you're striving for, and I think that if this is you going after this particular job, okay, like maybe just this, you you know, maybe you're sitting there surfing the internet looking for job prospects, and um, and some you know again something crosses your path, and you're like man, I would love that job. Oh, I would just absolutely adore it. That's something that that's my dream job, right? Here's the stars, your dreams, right? You're shooting for the star. You're reaching for your dreams. Okay. And by golly, okay. It feels like you, it feels like you're, you're going to get it. Okay. Um, it, it's, it's really like you're, you're not, <laughs> you're literally shooting for the stars. Okay, like there's not really a lot of a lot of other ways to say it because this is what your goals are. This is what you're aspiring to. So um, you're you want everything. Okay, you you just you're. You, I don't feel that you're willing to settle here in this energy. I don't feel you're. I don't feel you're willing to settle for anything. I think you've done some um, soul searching. All right, for these energies to come out here, I think you've done some soul searching here. Um, and you're, you're not going to settle for anything other than what you love, something that feeds your soul, something that gives you that, um, 
satisfaction and that optimism um, to move forward. Um, you might be striving for a job that maybe, um, maybe with these, oof, with these energies, okay, with the high priest and the star, um, maybe you're looking for that kind of career path, that kind of job that allows you to help other people. Okay. You might be pursuing the path of a healer. Okay. Some sort of healer, um, medical profession, possibly, um, it could even be something spiritual. Okay. Um, some sort of spiritual healer, but something that, um, that feeds your soul and really allows you that level of satisfaction, commitment, um, and emotional fulfillment and stability. Okay. This is what you're striving for. Right. And again, uh, there's something coming in for you here. Something really good. Okay. Um, advice from spirit here. We have the seven of wands. Stand in your beliefs. Do not waver in your from your beliefs. Okay. Overcome any obstacles. Um, defeat any um, obstacles in your path. Rise above your competition. Be willing to be seen for the beauty and the passionate um, person that you are. Okay, stand firm in your belief in your convictions and do not waver. All right, this is what's this is the advice from spirit here. Okay, you see that wand there with those blossoming, I think they're roses. I believe they're roses. Okay, that's your passion, that's your fire, that's your burning. Well, that's your burning desire. Oh, okay, that rhymes. Um, <laughs> thank you, spirit. Um, anyways, but that is, that is you embracing that. So stand in that power of creativity and passion, embrace everything. Okay. And stand true to yourself and your beliefs to move forward and embrace everything. Okay. Your outcome, the page of pentacles, there's that new beginning. Okay. So, um, that's that level of commitment. Okay. That might be the start of something new. So, um, you know, so you might be investing. Okay. Some of you might be investing. So if you're getting this financial windfall here, okay, that page of pentacles can be you, um, putting some money aside. All right. We do have the squirrel. Okay. The squirrels always, they, they put the money, they put things aside, right? They save, save for the future. Okay. They don't, um, they don't, um, eat everything all at once. All right. So that can be you, um, investing in your future, investing in yourself, this can also just be the start of a new, um, a new opportunity, a new job. Again, you, um, you're starting on that new adventure. It is that something new and it's a lovely energy. It's the beautiful start of a new beginning there. All right. So let's just clarify that page of pentacles, please. The five of pentacles, right? The six of swords and strength. Okay. So this is, this is something that brings you out of a period of hardship. Okay. That five of pentacles, that's that lack mentality. It's not having enough, right? You may have lost things in the past, right? Um, but this new beginning here, it brings you out of that energy, allows you to move towards something better, something more emotionally stable. Um, something that, um, is, better for both your mind and your soul, right? This is you moving out of troubled waters into calmer seas. Some of you could actually be moving um, with this card, just so you know. Um, the wands, I mean, we do have the seven of wands there, right? The wands, well, actually the five of wands there too. The wands tend to wander, okay? They do tend to like a little bit of adventure and some travel, all right? So some of you, you could be moving, um, relocating, um, you could end up, um, maybe it's a position where you actually have to travel for business a lot. Okay. But it could just represent you moving out of troubled times into something better, something that makes you stronger. All right. Strength card here. This is the energy of Leo, just so you know. Um, and this can be, uh, this can be you just embracing, that inner strength, that courage, that drive, determination to move forward. You're very kind and compassionate with this energy here. All right. And, but you have that strength to persevere and to keep on moving forward. All right. To overcome any challenges that you have along the way. All right. And that's beautiful energy leading you into something brand new because this is an energy of success. 
right? But one that's a little bit more, uh, you've tamed the beast, okay? The lion there, you've tamed the beast with your um, inner strength and your compassion and kindness that you um, that you exhibit here, okay? And it feels like any obstacle that's along your way, this is that energy that helps drive you forward, all right? So it's really a lovely energy for you, a great new opportunity it looks like. And, um, you know, again, if this is you having this kind of financial windfall here, you know, still be happy about it. Um, you know, um, if this is that inheritance kind of thing, you can still be happy about it. Um, because if you're not, be more grateful. Okay, I would say grateful more than happy. Um, grateful. Because you do need to live in grace and gratitude in life because otherwise you stop the flow um, of energy. So be grateful for the gift that you have been given and then do something with it. Invest in yourself, invest in a business an opportunity. Um, but keep the money going, keep the money going. So let's close out your reading with a message from our angels. What else does Pisces need to know, please? And we have recovery. Okay, so if you've been in that period of lack, right, you haven't had enough money, you haven't had that job, all right, um, here's that happy tower, okay, that's that recovery. Um, so this is you rebounding back from your struggles, from your hardships, from your difficult times, right, and it's because you kept the faith, you kept that hope, and you know that the universe will provide, okay, and you've lived in that energy, Okay, so don't forget to heal your wounds, all right, that inner child, okay, that inner child get hurt, gets hurt very easily, okay, so don't forget to, um, to heal that and to um, uh, embrace that as well a little bit, have a little bit of fun, okay, have a little bit of fun, it doesn't all have to be serious, okay, um, and embrace your joy. All right, so I'm going to leave that there for you, so hopefully there was some messages in there that helped you go move forward. Um, if so, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Feel free to leave me a comment. I read everything. I love hearing your, your energy back. Um, it's, um, uh, you know, I need, uh, um, um, you know, I don't mind having that, um, you know, clarification back as well. Okay. That confirmation I should say. All right. So, um, feel free to, to leave comments wherever. And, um, uh, I hope you have a wonderful month ahead and I will see you guys next time. Bye.